Hey everyone. So I came across a application called IMAPVC, which is a, I believe a government funded application. Um, that is a very, it's an unfair tool, uh, as far as the advantage it gives hunters, um, in being able to e-scout, being able to learn an area, um, prior to their hunting season. You really don't even have to step foot outside the door and you can already determine, um, private property access, uh, animal locations. You can determine forestry roads, um, that are active or decommissioned. You can learn about cut blocks. You can learn about cut blocks that are, uh, in the progress of being cut. Um, so many different things. Uh, and when you're dealing with an area that is as densely populated as the Okanagan, um, and that may seem funny to say, but it has grown rapidly in the last uh, decade. It is a necessary tool to have, um, not only to make sure that you are not trespassing on private property, uh, but to really increase your chance at seeing an animal um, and even having a chance at harvesting an animal. So in this episode of uh, e-scouting, we're going to look at this area on Highway 33, which is just east of Kelowna. And what we're going to do, the first the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into data sources, add provincial layers, and we are going to scroll down to land ownership and status. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, go to surface ownership, check this box, and then go to parcel map BC, check that box, as well as the one above it, and press OK. It's going to buffer for a minute and it will show you private property as well as crown property. Now, I'm not quite positive as to what the difference is between these two. Um, if you go into the legend here, it'll say private and crown. Treat both of these, um, unless you obviously know better, treat both of these as if they were private property. Um, so no trespassing unless it is clearly obvious that um, this particular uh, source of land is um, in fact not private. Now, the next layer that we're gonna add here is going to be under licenses and permits. And we're gonna scroll down to, um, I believe, went a little bit far here, forestry road segments. We're gonna go into all segments as well as active forestry road segments. Click okay, give it a moment to load. And here we go. So we have, if we go into our layers again, we can see basically all uh, forest road segments here. Um, and if there's any active roads, uh, they will be highlighted in lime green. And that just indicates that there may be active logging in the area and that it should be uh, careful um, not to... Uh, not to be driving carelessly on those roads as there may be logging trucks uh, coming down them. Now, the next layer that we're going to add here is going to be under fish, wildlife, and plant species. And there's a lot of different options in here. I'll go over some more of these in a additional video. But the one that we're looking for right now is just a little bit further down. Um, here we go. Wildlife Management Units. Let's check that. Press OK. And I didn't mention earlier, but this is only roads here. We can also go into imagery, uh, satellite imagery, as well as topography, um, according to what we need for the instance that we are using. So if we zoom out here a ways, you can see that we're in region 812, 814 over here, 89 over here. Um, and this gives us, you know, a very clear knowledge of where we are as well as um, the region that we're hunting in so that you can be absolutely positive as to the regulations that are in that zone. Now I'm going to zoom out um, and go a little bit further north where I know there's more private property just to make this uh, a little bit more obvious for you guys. So let's go here a little bit closer to Kelowna in the valley. Um, here we go. Lots of private property here. Uh, and you can see right alongside the highway, um, we have all these forestry roads, which may or may not be um, passable. Um, and 
they are your main routes through private property. Uh, again, use your discretion as to which ones are permissible to go through. Now, we can add in a, another provincial layer, and we can go into, again, land ownership. Um, nope, wrong one. Go into fish, wildlife, and plant species. And you can go under biological resources. You can see um, there's lots of stuff to do with fisheries, uh, which is you know commercial, recreational. Um, super helpful for finding uh, those particular areas. Again, Kokanee, um, you can see all their spawning zones. Um, but for hunting in particular, uh, you can get into ungulate wintering ranges. Um, and we will go, let's go color fill just to make it a little bit easier to see. I'm going to zoom out a little ways. And this will highlight zones where deer, in particular whitetail and mule deer, um, will be coming out of the mountains during the winter. Um, this is where they're going to be feeding. This is where they're going to be living throughout most of the colder months. Um, and if you're going to be hunting anywhere from pretty much October, November, December, any of those times, uh, you're going to be seeing animals in here all the way through till March, April, um, before they start heading back into the higher country as the snow melts. And this can really limit down the area where you want to hunt in those months. Um, it can really cut down on the footwork that you have to do just by giving you an area um, that limits your search zone. Now, if it's a mild winter, you may see them expanding these zones into a little bit of a higher elevation. But if it's a colder winter, uh, you may expect them to be closer to the lake um, where the temperatures are a bit warmer. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in the next one, I'm planning to go over another provincial layer under um, this fish, wildlife, and plant species. And I'll teach you guys how to actually find the locations of animals where they have been sighted, um, survey points, and further. Um, and just let me know what you guys are thinking. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment, maybe subscribe. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay safe and hunt safe.